people trying to generate light from truth. And um, it, it's, uh, I think we just need to clear the air so that people don't put false hope on uh, what does not really exist. Now, this is a poor portrait. And like you and I know, every tree has a sap because nutrients must flow from the soil through the uh, stem down to the branches as well as the fruit as well to supply them. Now, this is a rechargeable bulb. In this rechargeable bulb, there is a cell called what we mean by cell is a battery. Now, this is an example of a battery. It's a cell, we call it DC. It generates DC voltage. Uh, typically, of course, this is a multimeter. If you switch your multimeter to the DC ring, you would observe that. Um, uh, let's try to connect this and see. Are you seeing it? Or you can zoom mm. So, this is the negative terminal, and this is the positive terminal. Now, we have a value here, which is 8.57 volts. Now, a DC normally generates its own voltage. All right. Now, so what is this tree mystery all about? Can a tree give you AC? That is not possible. Um, so, let's start the experiment. Again, I have brought this. Now, this is something that comes with your rechargeable bulb when you buy, especially if you buy a product like AKT product. I'm not advertising AKT, uh, but this comes with it. Now, have you ever wondered why this comes with it? If you look into this very well, you will see that the plate runs through completely, creating what we call a closed circuit. So by the time you put this inside your bulb and you twist this, the bulb comes on. Nothing special. What we've done is the bulb has these two mounts here. So these two edges here, these terminals, when we put this one inside, you connect them. So these two become like one and the current can actually flow and the circuit is complete. So the same thing is what the tree is doing. When you, and you know, one of the good conductors of um, electricity or electrons is water. Uh -huh. We have um, insulators, we have um, semiconductors and we have conductors. Current conduction in conductors is simply by electrons. So electrons has to flow. Now I've peeled this tree. I just hope many trees in Nigeria will be safe after today. Now, if you touch it, it is wet. So of course there are ions flowing there. Of course, it's not water. Uh some people will think it's electrolysis, but there is ions flowing into this. Uh, there is a kind of um a uh, how do we put it now? The chemist will be able to explain that better. What's flowing? But let's assume that what is flowing here is a liquid. Now, so of course, okay, they call it the sap of the tree. So when you put this there, automatically you will find that um, you've closed the circuit. So the same job this person is doing is what this job is doing. So if maybe the camera can come closer. So if I just put only one terminal, can you see it? Just look at the terminal directly. You can see that only one is touching it. The other one is not touching it, so the bulb does not come on. But if the two touches the tree at the same time, the, the source at the same time, you'll find that the light will definitely come on. So it is not the tree that is giving you light. It is the cell battery that is here that is producing the light. And that is why if you bring in an AC bulb, it will not light because the tree does not generate such. And um, so let, let's try to... Use people have seen people also use conductors. Of course, the same job a conductor will do. This is an aluminum conductor that I stripped from the wire. If you put the same thing there and touch the two and touch the two, it will still come on. So there's no rocket science here. Like, uh -huh. Your hand is covering the light. There's no rocket science here. So you find that it will still come on as the others would come on before it. So that is about what you have. Uh um in this uh, store so please uh, it's not any tree generating any special effect it is you that you have brought the light in the first place using uh, um your rechargeable battery so it's the same thing you find when you actually plug this in now the only way you can be so sure if a tree would generate bulb is to use this this is what we call an led now this is a light emitting diode and it requires a voltage of about 0.7 volt or 0.3 volts to power on depending on the material from which it is made so if the 
the reality is true. By putting this here, there should be some current flowing through, but you can't find any. This guy cannot come on. So if this guy can come on this bright, even when this is there, why is this small one not coming on? So technically that tells you because this one is not powered by any cell. There is no source of power here. But this one has an inbuilt cell. Well, I can break my bulb to show you the batteries inside. Maybe in next video I will show you the battery inside. So that is just what it is. There is nothing special about this. And we've used multimeters to also try to measure the voltage coming out from the tree. There is really nothing coming out from the tree. This is a DC voltage. You can see that it's not stable from trace up and down. And um, if there were to be a stable voltage, you would actually have a, um, a stable voltage value. If, they, if the tree were to be generating something, the value will be stable. This is millivolts. This is pure DC. So uh, guys, please, let's be enlightened. The tree is not performing magic. Let's save our tree. Uh, there are future hopes to actually look at um, the mechanism at which the tree transports um, nutrients from the soil to the body and see if there are some things we can unearth from it. Uh, but for now, we, no tree can give you this kind of light. It's something you can do on your own. Just get any terminal, connect the two together, and your LED bulb or your rechargeable light will come on. Thank you.